Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we are doing a reading for Pisces. Today Pisces is all about you, it's all about the Pisces today. Alright, now before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. Alright, now we can get started. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Let's draw our first cards, Pisces. Okay. Our first card says, the Ace of Wands. All right. So I see for some of you that you're starting something new. You're starting a fresh life for yourself, okay? I also see that pregnant has come up, okay? Someone has pregnant. Maybe you got someone pregnant or you yourself is pregnant, okay? All right? So because of that, you're going to have to follow your instincts a lot. You're going to have to follow your sound judgment and your instincts, okay? Because there's going to be some situations where someone's going to try to convince you to do something different, okay? But you're but if you but if you feel something in your heart, you're gonna have to go with that, okay? Judgment, y'all. I see there's gonna be some karmic energy, right? There's gonna be some karmic energy and judgment coming your way. Something new is gonna happen, something new will happen. This is so like I'm gonna say eight times out of ten, this is usually a positive thing, but the other two times is like when you do something stupid and that karmic energy comes to get you. But I'm gonna. I think it's safe to say that something new will happen because I'm not getting any negative vibe from this judgment card. Okay, so something new and fresh will happen. Something positive. Okay, Queen of Wands. Now, this person that you're with, they make you feel good, all right? They make you feel good about yourself. They make you feel like you're Superman or Wonder Woman. You know, they make you feel like you're someone who is always the best. You know, they make you feel like someone who is important to them, okay? That's wonderful. Now, you need more people like that in your life, right? The person that you're with, they make you feel like you are very, very wanted and important. The Page of Cups. Pregnancy has come up again. All right, so you guys are planning for pregnancy, right? Maybe, maybe this this person is all like is like going through the stages of pe pregnancy, or you're going through the stages of pregnancy. Okay, like maybe it's been like maybe like two or three months. You know, you're starting to feel the effects, or four months. You know, so you guys are planning for the baby. You guys are ba buying baby clothes and baby diapers and other baby materials, right? So you guys are really into this pregnancy thing. Okay, so you guys, whatever case may be, you guys are. Definitely preparing yourself for a baby. Okay. The Four of Cups. All right. So you're feeling stressed, okay? You're feeling stressed because you thought, like, all this baby stuff is starting to get a little overwhelming. And the two of you got into an argument, okay? Which enabled this person to leave or you to leave, all right? Okay. And when I say leave, I don't mean, like, break up or anything, all right? Right? I'm talking about like this walk away from you and not like and not talk to you and just be and just disappear for hours. OK, so that's so that's what I'm talking like. I see like an argument going on and someone left. OK, for like a, a short amount of time. OK, we are going to draw five more cards. OK, of course, we're going to draw five more cards, Pisces. Okay, five more cards. Mm -hmm. Our next card says, Pisces, the Hermit. Okay, you're kind of searching for answers, you know. You want, you just want to be, you just don't want to be alone in this parent thing. Okay, you just start searching for answers. Like you're looking, like you're asking around to see if, like, where this person has gone you're trying to find out where this person has gone you know are they coming back like da 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 because you because you're starting to get worried now it's been a little while since you know since the argument it's been a couple of hours they're still not back yet so you're wondering what's going on you're trying to figure out where you're trying to call their phone asking them where they are you're texting them asking their friends or family if anyone's seen them you know da 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 
the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay. So, as it turns out, that this person actually just went away. They just didn't, they didn't go far, but it definitely went away from you and just ignored your calls. Okay. So once they returned, like two of you had like a kind of an argument again. Okay. So you guys had an argument again, but after, but like after like five minutes into that argument, you guys like settled down and decided not to yell anymore. Just talk about how you two feel. Okay. Okay. Cause someone here got hurt, like emotionally hurt worse than the other partner. Okay. Okay, so the two of you really talked out your feelings, right? You like really talked it out and there was apologies here and there, right? So you guys learned your lesson to be more open with each other, like to be more like to be like communication. Y'all, Communication is key here. All right. So there is going to be some good luck on your side. Page of swords. Okay, so they want to talk. Okay. They want to, they want to, they, they're committed to what they said. Okay. They want to talk they want to be more open and honest. Right. They're eager to share feelings. Right. You know, they have that little bit of young energy. Okay. They got that young energy. You guys are still young. So, you know, you're going to make mistakes as far as the two of you are concerned. But as long as you're willing to talk things out, there's nothing you guys can't overcome. The two of swords. Okay. You guys made peace. All right. You guys made peace with each other. You know, and things are not peaches and cream. You know, there's never, any, there, there's no way like two people are in a relationship and everything. You guys never had not one argument. Not everything's going to be perfect, you know? So, but of course you guys made peace. You guys have a better understanding with each other. Okay. You have a better understanding. Yeah, you guys communicate at least a little bit better. You know, you guys understand what each, what the two of you need, okay? So you guys are going to work harder towards that, okay? Because again, too much stress can make the pregnancy fall flat, okay? The Eight of Swords, okay? All right, now, you have to free yourself from any, like, self-doubt, okay? Of course, you're going to feel a little, like, if you're the guy, right? Of course, you're going to feel nervous about being a parent. Like, who wouldn't? Like, being a parent is some serious stuff. So, like, if you're the guy in the relationship, right? You're going to have to try to free yourself from any self-doubt or fears that you're going to, that you're having as this pregnancy thing is going along, okay? Because this person is going to need you, okay? She is going to need you, all right? So, you have to be there for her, all right? Okay. And it's not even like you're in it by yourself, right? It's the two of you now. Okay. Now we're going to draw our last five cards. Our next card says the tower. Okay. So there's a sudden change going on in the relationship, right? There's a sudden change. There's a lot of conflict, okay? There's a lot of con. There was a lot of conflict. There's a big argument, a huge argument, actually. So there was a sudden change. Something happened, right? There was a huge argument. Now you guys are separated, okay? You know? You guys fell apart. You guys fell off. You guys, there was a big separation, okay? You guys decided, like, you know what? This isn't going to work. I'm done. And you guys separated, okay? Well, that is unfortunate. I actually... That is very sad, okay? The world, okay? All right. So, you guys are separated now. You know, the two of you got closure, okay? Like, this pregnancy thing did seem to put a lot of strain on your relationship, okay? Things were kind of, things were kind of fine, before this pre the whole pregnancy thing, okay? The baby isn't here yet, okay? This baby isn't here yet, or maybe it's like a couple days born. A couple days born, that's what I'm feeling, okay? And you guys just had a big, huge argument. You separated, 92 of you kind of just don't really want to be in their, each other's presence too much. You got to get closure from that. You know, maybe things just weren't destined to be. Maybe you guys just weren't destined to be together as parents, okay? 
the sun. Okay. Now, while as sad as it is that you guys separated, they did still make you happy. They still did make you feel like someone that mattered. They, they, they did feel, make you feel important, happy, and they, you know, you guys did have good times. But there was just times where you guys are together and you guys really just got on each other's nerves, right? You know, but when you guys are by each other's self, like when you're, when you're by yourself and then that person's by their self, it's kind of quiet and content, okay? But when the two of you are together, as much as you love each other and make each other happy, it's still a lot whenever, like, the pregnancy came up. It was still, like, when preg everything was fine until you guys went, are going, like, went through the pregnancy stages. That's when things started to go downhill, the empress okay so right now everything's very calm and content because you know you know the mother has a child and then the the guy the reason why i say the guy in a relationship is because you know there are possibilities where there could this could possibly be a, like a lesbian couple right and one girl acts like the dude in the relationship. That's why I'm saying the guy in the relationship, not like the man, like like a man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm st I'm trying to be like I'm trying to accommodate everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to accommodate everyone. Okay, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so yeah, everything's very calm and content right now. And while you guys aren't like together, together, you guys still try to be like 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 in the child's life as much as possible like once the child is born you both want to be in the child's life as much as possible and the six of wands our last card so let's see for some of you that you guys are thinking thinking not actually doing thinking to be go like come back together again right because you guys kind of feel like it ended a little too soon or it ended the minute things got rough. So you guys are just talking about getting back together. Nothing's being done. All right. But you want to try to like at least take things slower this time. Like really understand each other. Okay. Because you, you feel like you can't, you, can't, you can't help but feel like things got hard. Like things got hard and that's what caused the two of you to break up. Because, yes, granted, the, the relationship was perfectly fine before you guys went through this pregnancy thing. And you felt like as soon as, like, it hit the rough patches of the pregnancy, you guys were done. Okay? So you feel like you should try again with this. Right? So, Pisces, I hope I could have helped you some way in this reading. I hope this could have helped in any way. But if this did not resonate with you, Pisces, I apologize. Hopefully the next one will. But in the meantime, everyone, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. This has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste.